Hi everyone, welcome back to our React tutorial series. Uh, today we are covering routing, URL routing in our front end right here. And uh, I don't want you to confuse URL routing with back end routing because there are two different things and I'll talk about back end routing in another tutorial. But today we're going over URL routing for the front end. And what I mean by that is that when we're clicking on a contact page, you know, we want it to route to that page, like a contact us page, right? Or if we have a products page, we want it to go to our products like that. So uh, as we're creating these new pages, or we're creating links for it, we want to route to that page. And I'll show you how to also pass IDs to the pages for the products. But right now we need to figure out this routing, how to route because uh, we only have the home page right now. In our app.js file right here, the only thing that it's rendering for this page is the home page. And so we needed to route to different pages that we're creating. So once again, like I said, um, there's a backend routing that we're going to cover later on. And that deals with grabbing data from our database so that we can display it on the front end. So that is a totally different routing. And we're going to go over that in detail in another tutorial. But today is front end routing. So I really hope that you've been following these tutorials in order from part one up till now because I've shown how to put this together in order and it'll, it'll make a lot more sense if you go in order. And so you know our layout right here, we have our app.js with a header, uh, we have the body and then we have a footer and the header and footer are just components that we created here, very simple. And so, like I said, this is the only page that it's rendering right now because the app.js is being rendered through index.js right here. That's the only page that it's rendering. The thing we need to create right now is a router. And to do that, we need to install a thing called the React Router DOM. So let's do npm uh, install react-router-dom, okay? So install that thing. All right, so if you go into package.json right here, you'll see that it installed it right here. Here's my version, 6.8.2. It's different from this right here. React DOM is the React Router DOM. And uh, what we want to do is to put this into a thing called the browser router. So let's import that. Let's import all of these different things that we need right now. It's called the browser right there, browser router. Okay. And then we also need the routes and routes, right? There are two different things, one with an S plural and one is just the routes. So let's go down to our app here in the return function. We are going to write this out. I'll just put it right here. Uh, we're going to modify this a bit. We're going to put the browser router. Okay. And let's wrap this up right now. Browser router. And then we need the routes right down here. Routes. Let me close this up. I always like to close up my tags so that I don't forget to do it. Routes. And then inside the routes, we have the route. That's right. Route. And so the route, we need to give it a path. Path equals for the home page. So that one's for the home page. And then we have an element. And that one, we need to give it the home element, right? So we need to cr uh, create a thing called home. We need to create a home component. But let's just put this in right now. Here's the route for the uh, the path equals contact us, right? You could have it like that if you want. I like to just you know spell it out for SEO purposes, contact us, uh, whatever you like. Element equals, and here's our contact page right here, right? Uh, we'll import it in a minute here. Let's create the uh, contact like that. So that's how you um, put in the routes for this. So let's import our contact. Let's go in here, import contact from slash. Uh, it's inside pages, so we need that, and then contact. So there we go. We imported contact as a component, and we're setting in that component as the element for the contact us path. And uh, let's create the home right now because I want to. I want to put this together. So home.js. And home is basically this thing right here, right? We're going to have, here, watch. Let's put this home right now. Uh, we're going to deal with the header and footer in a minute because I need to create a layout for that to put in the header and footer. So let's just comment these out for now. And then let's create the home here. We need to uh, export default uh, function home. And then return. And let's put that in our fragmented segment here. And then we have the home page. This is the home page. Save that. So we got that home out of the way. Let's import home. Import home, up, uppercase home right there from, and it's in pages still. That's where we're putting all our pages for now. You can put anywhere you want. 
I put in pages. You can put in the components if you want to keep everything clean. You know, you might even have a components folder and then a folder in there called pages. You can do that too. It's whatever you like to do. All right, we have our home and contact components and we set it to its correct path. So let's save this. Clear NPM start. And now this should route it correctly to its paths. All right, so, so since I removed the header, we don't have the links for it right now, but we, we can call it up here. Contact us, right? See how it just routes it to the contact us page because this is the route I gave it. If I change this to contact without the S, you know, and then we can go directly there instead of the dash S. Because look, if I do a dash S, it doesn't go to the contact us page. It's whatever you specify it as. So contact, and then there you go. See, it routed to there. Now, uh, you're probably wondering how we're, how we're going to put in our header and footer. Because as you noticed before, we wrapped the header. We can't just put header like that, you know. You can't just do that because it's only taken in one element. And so let's do a layout up here right in the app function. We need to do const layout equals, uh, we're going to do an arrow function on this. Return. And then this is where we need to include our header. And I'm going to talk about this other thing called the outlet. So let me import outlet right here. And let's put back our header and footers because we need to um, have our header and footer right imported. That's what we had before. And then in here, uh, we're going to include the header. And then we're going to have the outlet. And then we're going to have the footer. So we're going to use this layout component here to wrap everything inside of our, um, our routes. And I'm going to show you why we need this outlet right here. But first, let's wrap the layout in here, right? In here, we're going to have the route. And the path is going to be for uh, this, this home right here, the path for the app.js. It's just the home page, really. And then the element, we're going to set that to the layout. And you'll you'll see it will make sense because uh, I'm not going to end this route right here. I'm not going to end that tag. I'm going to wrap it. I'm going to wrap it all in here. See that route. So now this is the parent route, and this is the children. So this is how it works for this parent and children route. The route is using layout, but it's taking in an outlet. And what is the outlet? The children here. Everything inside of this route uh, tag is the outlet. So it's going to uh, take everything from here and populate it as this outlet. So you see how that layout works. It's going to populate the header. It's going to populate the outlet, which is all of the children. And then it'll put in the footer for us. So that's how you do layouts on this. And let's save that. And then there you go. So you see how it populated the header. It put in the outlet, which is uh, everything in here. And then it's going to put in uh, the footer, which is down here. So this, since it's the home page here, see, I click on home. It, the, uh, it's going to find the route for the home, which is this, and then use that as the home. And then if we click on this contact link, which is uh, the path for this that I set the contact link to, it's going to go to this contact us page. You see how it just routes it correctly? All right, guys. So uh, to clean all of this up, I think you know what I'm going to say. Let's put this into a router component, right? So let's create a router component over here. Let's go to components and we're going to put router in here. JS. And so let's call this uh, export default function router. And then return. Okay, same thing. And then we want to put our layout right here. This layout function here. Let's take that out. Let's put it into a router there and then let's take this part here take all that put it into our router and then we need to import um, all of these components right so let's take all of our components here that we need take that out go into our router put in there and uh, since we're inside of the components folder we need to go out uh, need to go out one folder right so we need the double periods here to go out so it goes out one and then it goes into the pages or whatever we need 
or actually the components here we're inside of components so we just import header here we are inside of components uh, I, I believe it's period slash yeah there we go and then the home is inside out like that in pages all right so we have our header we have the outlet right here we have the footer and then we have the home and contact here so we got those in and then uh, you also know that I like to put these into a separate component so let's do this let's create a browser routes const browser routes equals arrow function and then we are going to take all of this out return it inside there and then we just call our component browser routes there see it's a lot cleaner when we do that so I have our router and then we need to go back in here and import our router import uh, router from components router there we go and then let's put in the router here okay and let's save this hopefully we don't get an error see everything is running still refresh and then we still go to the contact yep everything's working still so there we go so we clean this up a, a lot by creating a router component right here and then we create that page inside the components here router and we imported everything we need and all of this was our exact uh, functions and everything that we created for the layout and then we just put that as a uh, component in here browser routes so everything is very clean so i want to show you this right here react lets you create the routes uh, in another way and uh, what i want to do right now is i'm going to comment this out i just press command and the backslash like that and it comments that all out for me so we're just going to remove this for now because I want to show you how to create this in another way just so that you know uh, in case you're going to come upon this code later on and you'll see what it's doing and it's uh, created using the create browser router so you see how we have this browser router right let me comment this out let me import create browser router down here you see that so we're going to uh, use that from react router dom and uh, let's go down here so let's do right here const browser routes we'll still use browser routes right here so that you're used to it equals now create browser router you notice how this is lowercase here because that's what it's called up here import create browser router right it's lowercase so we're going to create a browser router and then it takes in these elements here let me show you so you notice that right there so uh, we're going to take in an object here and we're going to give it a path for the home and an element for the home you see how we did that and then let's put a comma and let's put the same thing here copy that put it down here now this path would be contact us and this goes to the contact page you also notice that uh, the code you can leave a comma here and nothing will happen or you can remove it a lot of developers like to just leave a comma so that the next time they create something you know uh, they don't forget to <laughs> omit that so you notice that a lot I like to just keep it clean and remove the comma so you notice right here we have create browser router with these two elements here and then it's the same thing as this right here it's calling this function here create browser router as you're calling that is really just doing this browser router and then we're giving it two routes right here's one route here's the second route and it's the same thing as we're putting one route here another route here and then now we just call this component okay so at this point you think that all we need to do is just call this component here and it'll put in here no we need also need this other thing it's called the router provider router provider right here so we need that router provider and then down here we need to call that router provider whoops router provider right and we needed to tell it the router equals our browser routes so let's save this here and then up here if i put backslash contact uh, contact dash us it's going to go to our contact us page so that is the way that it's doing this but you know we we want the layout as well right we're missing our layout here with the header and footer so how you do that we need to in here wrap it around here 
let's push this over now we're gonna wrap in this other path it's just like creating the parent path now right path and we have the element and we're calling our layout now whoops layout uh, well, I can't type and then under here there's this new thing called children right children put it into an object like that whoops and so you see that this acts the same way as this right here here is the parent path with the element layout here's the parent path with the element layout and then this is just telling it to be the children and these are the children right so here's the children same path so let's save this and see am I gonna get any errors yep uh, I believe I'm missing a module here oh yeah I forgot we need to uh, uncomment our layout here let's uncomment that and with that we need the outlet right outlet so we have the header footer outlet let's save it okay so I'm not in cl closing this correctly I forgot the bracket here okay so save that and there we go we got our routing down there correctly all right uh, let's briefly go over this again we included a create browser router router provider and the outlet the outlet is used for the layout here with the header and footer create browser router and route router provider that is being used for this part right here where we're creating the browser router so we're when we call create browser router it's really just doing this right here is putting in browser router and then we're telling it to have a parent path with a layout here's the parent path in the routes it has a route with a layout right here as a parent then it takes in two children and we're telling it which children here's the children and so that's how you code it out and then to call that we have to say router provider and tell it what router to use and the router is right here you know this is a little bit more advanced I feel like so if you're starting out I do suggest just do it this way until you get it down you memorize it because this is pretty clean still you know we don't really need this part right here so we put this back to the way it was we just comment this out and so you see the difference this is browser router this has create browser router this just includes more you need to include the routes route and this only includes the router provider you know you can use it this way too it's just whatever you feel like using and then we uncomment this part as well and then we just call browser routes uh, a little bit easier to understand because we're only calling the component on this one we're just calling browser routes and it just outputs all this so it makes it a little bit easier but you know I, I try to show you like two different ways to code this out and there we go it's working the same way okay so I think I will stop the tutorial right here but stay tuned for the next one because it's going to be pretty interesting I'm going to show you how to uh, pass IDs through the pages so let's say we have an ID up here and we have a page called products right and I want to pass an ID you know so that we pass it through the products page and we can look up that item ID you see that a lot and then I'll show you how to route in here you know we'll have like a products like that and then we pass an ID like that so we're gonna do things through passing like that but I'll also step through passing by props if you remember I went a, a little bit through that in the other tutorial so we're going to talk a lot about passing IDs, passing by props to pages. And yeah, that will be for the next tutorial. So I hope you enjoyed this one. I will see you in the next one. Peace out. Kodakai out.